you guys know that I struggle with my accent. Mm -hmm. I mean, I feel that I've got my southern accent down, let's be real. But not everybody in the world is southern. <laughs> and that's how I portray them, because I have no other, you know, I got no other tricks in the back. Here's a meme from the subreddit, for example. Uh, every, here's the, <laughs> as you can see, every state is yep. southern. Uh, California is normal. <laughs> I see that New York has Godfather impressions, so there's a <laughs> out there. No, but everything okay. else is uh, southern, yeah. southern accent. And well, sophisticated. I guess we're trying to broaden my horizons here. <laughs> so because of that, we are bringing in a professional accent dialect coach to help train me. His name is Jack, <laughs> and I'm going to train today the British accent. How did you guys find Jack? Uh, I found him just. Looking around, uh, I found an article with uh, interviews with accent coaches in Hollywood. Mm. So he popped up. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, he trains actors and stuff on shows. Okay, good. Podcast, good. Podcast, those deadbeats. All the flavors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we, we specified to Jack that Ethan could use help on my British, Southern, and Italian. I don't know why you guys mm. put Southern in here, frankly. <laughs> well. <laughs> <laughs> So let's well, talk. It, it, maybe it is a little more nuanced than that because I think it's the bigger issue is that you think anything up to like North Dakota is a southern accent, right? Um, and so maybe we can maybe okay, you can help kind of distinguish like Midwest, <laughs> right, right, right. Uh, you know? Yeah, but I'm not no. doing that. I'm not getting into all that southern drawl. Like uh, I can't do it being on all that now. You can. <laughs> well, I know you well, can. Let's talk I'll tell you. Especially. I'll tell you what, man. There's two kinds of people in this world. There's Maga. And there's people from California. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, man, I'm bringing out my guns out to the lake. Anybody come here fishing, gonna catch one from me, boy. I tell you what. <laughs> and then there's people from California, like, hey, what's up, you, dude? Do you want to go to the library and study with me? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, Jack, how are you? Thank you for calling in. Hi. Hello, hello. I'm doing well. How about you today? We're doing good. So I hear an English accent. Is that what's happening? That is correct. And are you that tricking is my... me? Well, you How do have I know? To wait and find out. <laughs> exactly. Okay, Jack, hit me with a. I'm really just a spy. Hit me with an American accent. Like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. For real. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Say the English lost the war and they're just a bunch of stuck up. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I am actually from England, but I've been in the States for about 10 years now. Well, and so you have a have had a nice career training in dialect to uh, actors and and the likes. Oh no, they're selling my. Yeah, what, let me what just go to the bathroom real quick. Oh, Ela's hairs are falling out. And um, <laughs> what's your credentials? What's your what's your background in terms of accents and dialects and all that? Yeah, well, in England you can do a master's <laughs> in this sort of thing. So I got that um, in professional voice practice, and oh. then. I was in Chicago for a while. I was working with theater actors and then made the big move out here to California. And so I've been working on film and TV. Oh, congratulations. I'm glad yeah, that uh, really you found your niche there. That's great. So Thank these you. guys, I, I'm doing this against my will. I'll have you know. That's what they were kind of telling me. Um, I, you know, I haven't done too much research on your amazing accents. So I would love to hear in your own words. <laughs> How you feel about so your I, accents. Yeah, you so I, I'll be the first to admit that my my British accent and my my Italian accent are a bit wanting, mm -hmm. but my southern accent I feel is completely authentic. And, and just to be clear, uh, your Italian accent is actually just Marlon Brando from The Godfather. It's not really even <laughs> Italian necessarily. Yes. Well, that's right. is that not authentic? So, so, so we're going oh. Italian American rather than Tony, Italian yeah, yeah, from yeah. Italy. Tony, you come to me on this day. Amazing. To Head teach me how to do an accent? You presume yeah. to tell me on my own show, Tony. His name is Jack. Jack. Ethan, you hear that? He said he loved it. <laughs> oh, you love it. So that's yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, that I, I, I no could just leave right now. I think, I think, I think it's the British, <laughs> The British one, I'll be honest, I got a lot of trouble with that one. Let's see. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> go great, go great. Yeah. Oi. Uh, <laughs> can I... Do you find the Lizzie in the box thing offensive? I don't want to, you know. <laughs> I mean, there's about to be a new person tomorrow, so, you know. We're, the new king's tomorrow, is that what you said? Yeah, the coronation. Yeah, the coronation. Okay, so. Yeah. She's, yeah. yeah. Good. Not in a box. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, so it's like, uh, oi, hey there, what, what's with, <laughs> I got nothing. 
But okay. my southern accent, now that's what I like. I kind of like that uh, good old MAGA. You ever heard of Donald Trump? He's kind of like, you know, he's got a lot of good ideas about Mexicans and them kind of immigrants. And I tell you what, man, I've been out on the lake, seen a boy out there with a fishing pole, took a couple shots at him. You know what I'm saying? So that's my uh, southern. And whereabouts would you place that in the south? Oh, this accent, it's kind of just the bra. It's kind of like everybody outside of California. Hmm. Be sounding like this. Great. Um, what about the people inside of California? Oh, they sound like this. All of them. Yeah, yeah, just like this. <laughs> but so where, where do we begin? Let's say, let's, let's say, let's start with the British because I feel like I got nothing and I really want to have a good British accent. Sure. Is there a particular phrase you... Where would you like to use this? Is it like at a restaurant, at the pub? Is it like in the royal palace? Like right. what, what sort of, because there's more than one British accent. Right. I think my favorite is like the Peaky Blinders one. <laughs> yeah. Like well, a that's a, that's a very specific thing. like regional one. But I, I think, yeah, I think I think I know what you're, you're looking for. Because well, well, um, what options are there? There's like the Queen's uh, English. Maybe you can give me some examples and I'll tell you which one I like. Sure. So with everything, you can kind of divide it into big groups and then get smaller and smaller and smaller. So we could get very specific and there are kind of hundreds and hundreds to choose from, or we could go kind of broad regions. Um, the first big split is North versus South. Mm -hmm. So it's actually flipped from America in that the predominant accent that you hear around is the Southern accent. Mm. And then you have the Northern accent. I'm not sure if you watched Game of Thrones at all. I did, yes. But a lot of the Starks had more of a Northern accent. Okay. Um, whereas the, oh, like, is the, is, the female ones had the Southern accent. So the Northern accent is the less common one. Is it also considered to be white trash, like in America? It's more kind of city versus countryside. Okay, thing. so it's similar. And I say white trash with the love and admiration <laughs> sure. in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> but there are, I think what you're envisioning in your mind would be something kind of southern, probably London based and not the, not the palace version. I wouldn't mind having the Queen's English, you know what I mean? I think that's kind of cool, too. But so so give me an idea of like Londoners uh, versus like the Queen's English. Where are we at on that? Yeah, so there's this thing called received pronunciation, RP, mm. for short. Um, and basically someone decided that they wanted everyone to sound the same and they made up how people should sound. And that's mm. kind of closer to how the King's or Queen's English, I guess it's King's again now, um, is so your vowels are very precise. You want to make sure that you're not going too far doing anything that would be unseemly. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's just very, very, very precise. Whereas as you get more kind of colloquial, then you start to slide into the vowels a bit more. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. So and there's so a bit of relaxation. I'm feeling uh, kind of the Peaky Blinders stuff. What phrase might you say if you were? So you let's say, oi, in a Peaky Blinder. Like this. The Peaky Blinder. I'm a fucking Peaky Blinder. Nobody <laughs> fuck. So, you know, uh, what's a, oi, all the boys down at the track are, they collected all the, they, we doing the tickets down at the track, oi. Great. That's yeah. in Peaky Blinders. They went down to the racetrack, right? <laughs> and they they muscled out the old uh, crew, you know. So I just want to get yeah. the character as much as possible. So, um. So maybe if we just take the phrase, we're collecting all the tickets. Okay. Down at the track. Okay. Maybe? I like that. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> so how would you say the first word normally, just in your own California uh, accent? We we're, we're we're yeah we're. Exactly. <laughs> Uh -huh. Weir. And so if you <laughs> slow it down, you've got kind of an E followed by that heavy R. -er. Weir. Weir. Well, we don't want that heavy R at the end. And we're just going to replace wow. it with an uh. But wow. we still want the E for the week. Weir. 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 There we go. Weir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And hey, then what's, that the also... what's the deal with Australians? Yeah. They go. For ER, they go, they do like an A sound, eh? Ah. They go, ah. what does they always say on Below Deck? Down under. Down yeah. under. No, what do, they, what do they always say on Below Deck that we laugh at? Oh, oh, um, <laughs> what is it? 
Uh, why am I blanking? What a, uh, whatever. Sorry. <laughs> Think on that. Okay. Okay, we're, what, we're, where? <laughs> so no R at all. Just an uh instead. We're. Where. Now you can get a little fancy, but you know, that, that that's fine. We, we can get fancy if we want. Um, I try to remember the, the beautiful sentence you created. I think it was like, we're going to collect the tickets. We're getting the, the tick. We're, we are, we're getting the tickets from the racetrack, brother. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so off to a great start <laughs> of this we're. Um, oh. So... There's lots of things you can do with this T in the word getting. If you were just saying it casually in your own accent, it might be like getting with a kind of D-ish mm -hmm. thing in the middle. Mm -hmm. We don't want that. Okay. You can mm -hmm. either put a full T in or you can completely drop it. So you can do getting or you can do getting. Getting. I like that one. Yeah, I like that one. Getting. <laughs> like yeah, that. so getting. we're getting. We're yeah. Getting. Oh, that's it. Those streams always go, yeah. <laughs> but they raise their voice and it's like yeah. a question. Yeah. Yeah. Or no. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Ew. Ew. What was it? It's like. Ur. I can't even remember. Why can't you remember? <laughs> <laughs> they go. Uh, yeah. Ur. Ur. God damn it. <laughs> All right. It'll come to you. Yeah. For sure. But yeah. We so are... we want. We're getting. So we're full break get between in. the get and the ing. We're getting. Get. <laughs> yeah. We're getting. We we're are getting. Are getting. We're getting. Very good. And remember, no er on the we or mm. just dropping the er. We. Yeah. No hard R's. We're getting. We are no exactly. in this building. And that's we a good policy, getting. regardless, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. yes. So yeah, we're getting. We're getting. The tickets are going to be pretty similar oh, to how you would normally say now. it. Oh yeah, they go now. -er. The people knew in the Thanks. chat. The o yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, it's going to be crazy. Yeah, because whenever -er. we watch, -er. whenever we watch below deck, I just... like instead of saying no, they'll say nar. No. -er. No. -er. Yes, thank you. God damn it. I when I watch below deck, I just sit there the whole time going no. -er. No. -er. -er. I actually think I got it pretty good. No. -er. No. -er. Yeah. Can you, can you hit me with your best no? -er? Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. It's because the they use the middle of their tongue to do that, whereas an American would use the back of the tongue to make an er. So it's kind of just the same action, just a little no. forward. So instead of r, it's just a little bit further forward of i. No. 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 That's not bad at all. No. Yeah. No. 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 <laughs> so uh, we're all over the world now. Let's go back to England. We are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're getting these tickets down at the track. Um, so. We're getting, we've, we, we've nailed, we getting. I feel. Tickets is going to be the same. You don't have to do anything with that. Mm. Tickets. I'll miss say it American, trust me. Tickets. I mean, I feel like you were trying to not do it the way you would normally do it. I'm just... <laughs> All right, here, let's little, see, let's see. Little bit. Where, where, where? No. No R. No R. So the, the way to get rid of this R, if you make right. some little finger guns, mm -hmm. put them in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Okay, that, okay, out, excuse me. <laughs> I'm not doing that bad. And then take them out and keep that space. Where? Huh? Where? We, uh, uh, where? We, uh, where? We, uh, where? We, uh, where? 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 So, so say, we say for me, we're getting tickets. Just say that for me. Yeah. We're getting tickets. We're getting, we're getting tickets. Mm -hmm. we're Good. Getting, we're, we're, we're getting tickets. 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 We're that's good. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're, we're getting, we're getting tickets. No, no, er, er, er. <laughs> no. Where, 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 yeah, where, yeah. where, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Where. Ole London. We're getting, <laughs> we're getting, we're getting, getting tickets. Tickets. Yeah. Ole London. Why he said just say it like normal, Dan? He's going tickets. 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 We're getting tickets. Where? Tickets. Tickets. We're get. Yeah. We're getting tickets. 
<laughs> Tickets doesn't Lucilla. feel right. Tickets <laughs> doesn't feel right. Uh, I think you're being quite like forceful with that T. Soften okay. the T. We're getting yeah. T hits. <laughs> T hits. Tickets. 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 Yeah. That sounds great. Yeah. Tickets. Okay. We're get we're getting we're we're yeah. getting tickets. Where? Yeah. <laughs> where? Oh my god. Where? Where? Yeah. Where? Yeah. Getting, getting tickets. I feel like yeah. you're still yeah. hitting that R, man. Where? Yeah. I just know why I'm going where? Yeah. Where? My mouth doesn't even work. Another way to think about that might be if you put a Y in the middle and do we ya we ya. Okay. Oh. We ya. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh. That's good. Uh-huh. We ya. We are getting. If you tickets. could just write it out phonetically, I feel like I could do it. Yeah, that one's got like some shit going on. Way ya. Way ya. Getting. Getting tickets. tickets. All right, Dan wrote it out phonetically. We are getting. We are getting. We are getting tickets. <laughs> yeah, and if you change the T to like an apostrophe instead. Getting. Kind of getting. Oh, yeah. We are getting tickets. Oh, okay. Hey. We are. Here. We're getting somewhere. Yeah. We are. We're, get, we're getting, getting somewhere for sure. We are etting tickets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you wrote. Yeah. We are. I, 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 I missed the G. Oh, yeah. okay. oh we Sorry. are we, uh, getting tickets. Getting. 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 Where? Go. I think my G is just not working, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Where? Okay. That, we're get, and now we're, we're getting. Oh, we're getting. We're getting tickets. It's. <laughs> Every time it gets worse somehow. We're get we're getting <laughs> we are getting getting we are getting okay get yeah. I yeah. feel like it's more like a so getting I might come up it? to you at the racetracks <laughs> and be like Ethan what are you doing and you would say we're getting <laughs> tickets hey. Hey. that was okay. good I'm, I say no a little, a little bit no there. we're getting we're getting tickets. <laughs> We're yeah, and I think you can play around with intonation a little bit as well. Mm. Okay, dude, let's do let's this one. Let's do something else, I'm maybe. Pete, uh, uh, I'm yeah. te- um, what's his name, Shelby? I'm Arthur, I'm Arthur fucking Shelby of the Peaky Blinders. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm our Arthur fucking Shelby. I'm Arthur Shelby. fucking Shelby, yeah. Arthur of the Peaky Shelby. Blinders. Fucking Peaky, Peaky Blinders. Blinders. Shelby. Arthur. Okay, I'm gonna write in a, a <laughs> fake version of this, and I just want you to. Thank try you and so read much. He's, he's writing it out phonetically for me. Where? We are. Where? Get What's his last name? Ticket. Shelby. 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 We're yeah. get. We're we're getting tickets. Where? Mm-mm. Where? 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 Oh, we that's perfect. Jack. Getting. Getting. Oh, getting. F- we're getting Shelby. What's wrong with my getting? I don't know. Is it right? What's wrong with getting. my getting? Getting. <laughs> getting. I think I think it's just that you're going too, too much of a pitch getting. variation between the two things. Just, getting. Yeah, getting. 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 Almost like you're combining mm-hmm. it into one I feel like syllable. you're saying getting. 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 Like you're more like in with it. But We're it's like getting. getting. We're getting tickets. Mm. <laughs> getting. Oi Alpha fucking Shelby. <laughs> Put the M on that first word. Oh, I'm oh, I'm off the fucking Shelby. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, that's, that's good. good. That wasn't bad. Yeah. Oh, I'm oh, I'm off the fucking Shelby, mate. <laughs> Where's my fucking money? Yeah. How much? You owe me twenty quid. <laughs> yeah, I think we're making some improvements for I sure. So, what, yeah. One of the things that we're definitely doing is getting rid of those R's, which is one of R's. the R's. Okay. R's. So, so is Good the is the that. is the R like kind of like is that really one of the core differences between like an American accent and a British accent? Like it's one of the big differences for most of the English accents. You'll mm-hmm. find places in hmm. the the West Country near Bristol. Uh, if you've seen any of the Harry Potters, it's how Hagrid talks, or any of the Lord of the Rings, it's how a lot mm-hmm. of the Hobbits talk. Okay, um, <laughs> where they have their R's, but it's only in a Get specific in. region where they have those. Um, <laughs> Otherwise, it's what about like them. a regular pre- person from London? Uh huh. <laughs> then you only say an R if the next thing is a vowel. Mm. Otherwise, you don't. I will yeah. literally never ever forget that. My whole I'll never remember that. <laughs> if if <laughs> you say the title like of your show for me, H Free Podcast. <laughs> it's the H Free. Yeah, and which which brand of the H Three is this one? After Dark. Exactly. So we don't want either of those R's in there. Mm. We want after 
after dark. It's the H Fui podcast af, af, after after dark. Oh, very good. Okay. After, after dark. dark. Yeah, after after dark. Yeah. dark. The dark. Yeah. The R that you use in dark could use the same one in after. After dark. After dark. Yeah. Dark. That one. After, yeah, that after dark. dark. All right, we need to work on something like, oh, give me something like really obscenely English H3 to say. H3 pod. H3. H3. Um, oh, yeah. H3. 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 It's the H3 podcast. Ha- after, after dark. dark. <laughs> after. Yeah, so we're going to have three R's in a row. It's going to be podcast after dark. Mm. How do I but okay so here let let's nail down a, a specific phrase and then uh let's right. something about um something about Bob's your uncle I'm taking suggestions at the moment I like be- I like beans on toast There you please. go ordering beans yeah. on toast yeah. Yeah. I think that's great. a great phrase That's yeah. what I need yeah, I'd like to, okay I'd like so, let me try I'd like I'd like beans on toast please <laughs> Wow. Hmm. Okay. I, I can see that you're applying everything that we put in. Yes. Um, okay. Let, uh, let some beans. Hold on. Uh, I like uh, beans. Beans. <laughs> I like some beans on toast. Y'all hear about Bye. them beans on toast? <laughs> them English Not are the, crazy with them beans on Not toast. The, yeah, we we I ain't never heard of some okay. goddamn beans I, on no toast. I put before. a ridiculous version in the chat box for someone to send to you, and I just want you to read that and see what happens again. I'm not, I'm not holding my breath necessarily, but I'd love to just see. Oi, oi, like I lock some beans on to- toast, please. <laughs> oi, great. Oi, I lock some beans on toast, please. Wow. That, hey, listen. I read yeah, that no, exactly that, as you wrote that it. That is exactly what I wrote. You know? Yeah, 100%. It's, so uh, the, the failure two... of, the te- of the student is the That's failure of the teacher, my friend. So um, the first two, if you take your lips and let them round a little bit and go, I. 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 Rather than I. 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 That's great. Yeah. I. And then could you keep them there for like? I, I like. like. Oh wait, no. Do do I hit the yeah, like? Yeah, that, that 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 was great. I do like. Yeah. I like. I like some beans on toast, please. <laughs> then we can let them relax a little oh, bit. Oh, relax. I like. Sound. I. Tell like you're at the dead would, like. Would like some. Yeah, some sounded great. Beans is regular. Beans, mm-hmm. beans. Regular to you. <laughs> would like some ba- beans. 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 Just beans. Yep. Beans. Yep. And then round it again. On. On. And now this is the fun one. Mm. Toe. Toe. Toast. 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 So instead Toast. of Toast. oh that you would normally Toast. have in American, Toast. can you say an uh like the for me? Say again. Can you say an uh like in the word the for me? The. The. Uh. Yep. The. Uh. Uh. And then can you say ooh? Ooh. Can you join the two together? Uh, the ooh. ooh. The ooh. Oh. The ooh. The glide. Toast. Oh. Toast. Oh. Yeah, and let your lips round a lot. Oh. Toast. Nice. That was it. Yeah. Toast. Yes. I like, I, I like, I like some beans on toast. <laughs> We gotta, the beans. We gotta shed that twang on the beans. I no. like, okay, wait, wait. Yeah. You know, we let us Southerners like our baked beans. <laughs> the yeah. Southern is comfort for you. It's You're home. It's comfort. comfort. It's home. Yeah. You ever had them? Comfort. Yes, right. Y'all English wouldn't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like some, I, I like some beans yeah. on to- toast. Toast. <laughs> Toast. You know, when you were doing that with your lips, it actually helped quite a lot. Toast. <laughs> yeah, it was better. I mean, Toast. it didn't sound southern. Do oh, Dan, do me a favor. Sure. Ask ChatGPT to write oh. a, a, a sentence, the oh, most no. English sounding <laughs> sentence Toast. for us. You know, uh, this is a moment to ask ChatGPT. Yeah. What you... about Israeli accent? Is that something that oh. you know? I've worked with people either with it or trying to change it to something else. Mm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How do I get rid of it? 
I don't think you should get rid of it. Um, but one of the things about Hebrew is that it only has five vowels mm -hmm. um, that you use, whereas in American English, the 16. Ooh. Uh -oh. So sometimes one sounds like something that's actually two in mm -hmm. American. So, for example, the E mm -hmm. and the I. The Hebrew's kind of between those two, mm -hmm. like an e, <laughs> uh, and so it's trying to separate it into when it's supposed to be an e in like sleep or an mm. e as in is. So that's like one of the challenging areas. Mm. Wow, um, I never even thought about it like that. The most advanced AI in the world has crunched the data with uh, <laughs> millions of data points, and here is the uh, short paragraph or sentence it's generated for us. Blimey. 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 A after a day at the office, this knackered bloke could certainly fancy a cup of, wait, okay, a cup of some bit, cups of some biscuits while watching the telly, followed by a swift visit to the local pub for a cheeky pint with his mates before grabbing some fish and chips on the way home. <laughs> oh We're going God. back in time. Well, the great thing is we've got to hear all your possible accents throughout the so that's awesome. <laughs> Guys, I don't no, know. I, I, I don't know if this is a lost cause. <laughs> no, it's great. Um, let's just pick out a couple of the words in here. Blimey. Uh, I, I, just, uh, I just sent it to you in the chat so you can reference you, yes. that. Blimey, after a long day Blimey. at the office, this knackered Blimey. bloke could certainly fancy a cup of and some biscuits while watching telly, followed by a swift visit to the local pub for a cheeky pint with his mates before grabbing some fish and chips on the way home. Mm. Wow. Do you feel that's a racist um, sentence? I don't, know. You don't but, offended um, by that? <laughs> No, it sounds like the perfect day, honestly. <laughs> um, let's look at one of the words in here because it it's going to be tricky, and I think, but I think I, I have faith that at least one of you can do it. <laughs> oh, gosh. yeah, somebody in here. So the the word is F A N C Y. Fancy, 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 fancy. I'll tell you what, boy, I like them fancy type. Not fancy. <laughs> Y'all that kind of fancy city type. No! <laughs> now, can you say the word F-A-T for me? Fat. So that same sound that you use in that, that ah, is what we need in this word. Rather mm. than gliding a fair in anything, we just want fancy. Fa, mm. fa, fancy. Fa, fancy. Fancy. Fat, fat, fancy. Fancy. Fair. So yeah, you can take the T off. Just fa fancy. Oh no T. Fancy. Fat That was fancy. Yeah, fancy. 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 Not bad. Fancy. A cup of a cup of the biscuits <laughs> while watching the telly. Uh, yeah, a cup of and some a cuppa, biscuits. A cup of and a cup of and some biscuit. <laughs> Go just, just, move away from home. No more. Yeah, no more yeah, yeah. Blimey. <laughs> After a long, after a long day at the office, no! we're going across, blimey. across the pond, across Blimey, the pond. oi, I'm just blimey, like, mate. Yeah, after a yourself, long day oi. at the office, boy, this <laughs> knackered old bloke. I tell you what, brother, oh, God. could certainly fancy one of them cups, <laughs> a tea, and a couple of biscuits. It might dude. be a lost cause. I don't know. Kinda, now, <laughs> I don't hey, know. do me a favor. Pull me that tea, nice and slow, <laughs> like molasses. <laughs> well, you know, time I mean, moves slow in the south out here. <laughs> in the south of England. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah. exactly. <laughs> um, I'm a lost cause. We have discovered. Let's try. You know what? I think the English the is not happening. Mm -hmm. Let's what try about, Italian. Uh, yeah, yeah. What about Italian? It's not happening. It's just not Great. in my repertoire. Do, do we have uh, a beautiful? Chat GPT created. Yes, please. Italian. That, yeah. Italian or something about Fredo this. breaking my heart. I, I, got, well, I, got, I got something. Oh, that's what I was about to say. Are we talking about an Italian accent? Or are we talking about a old New gangster Italian. movie? Yes. Italian. Gangster movie. Italian. Okay. So, okay. Italian. But that's more of like a Brooklyn accent, wouldn't it be? Something like that. Yeah. I believe. I believe. I believe in America. America has made me my fortune. America's made me the man I am today. Can you do exactly the same, but without the growl? <laughs> that's that's the whole thing. The growl is, <laughs> is what is the, that's the But you're, you're you're shifting some other things at the same time, and they're not they're not wrong necessarily. Mm. Fredo, Fredo, 
Fredo, Fredo. You're my, it sounds like Mario. Fredo, <laughs> now we're, now we've got to act you're my <laughs> older brother, and I love you. But don't ever take a side against the family again. <laughs> hey, Eva. Right, so- so we've gone back to the, the motherland, which is great. Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do the motherland then. One of the words I want you to just do one little substitution. And let's... Fredo, you're breaking, you're breaking my heart. Uh, very good. I put a little thing in the chat. Here, I'll, I'll pass that it sounds it. better with the growl, though, don't you think? It, it sounds more like a love. person that we've heard before. Okay, sure. love. Love. Oh, I like that. Fredo, yeah. you're my older brother. I love you. That's exactly okay. that. Love that's you. <laughs> the same thing happens in brother. Instead of bra, we can do bra. Brother. 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 Fredo, you're my older brother. I, lo- I love you. <laughs> See, you can be in Mario like too. See, yeah. Yeah. the English with, with peace and love, of course. I just, I, it's not accessible to me. It's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my, my chance for learning the English accent, I think, uh, was buried when uh, the Queen was. Rip. Rip. <laughs> Inappropriate, <Zach. laughs> On the eve of the coronation. Yeah, come on. How do we feel about King Charles? Are we a fan of King Charles? Do we think he could I, fill I, the I, shoes? Are we using the royal we? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. <laughs> I'm asking uh, the individual Londoner. Mm. Um, he is here. He got the <laughs> sausage fingers on. Huh? You seen those meaty little things? I haven't really paid can that close see? attention can, to his, sh- his deep, <laughs> a deep yeah, dive. Can we, I'll the show hands. you. I'll just show you. It's just interesting. It's not related to our accent training, obviously, but <laughs> it is atmospheric, I would say. King Charles' fingers. He got some sausage, like little sausages, bro. Like I breakfast sausages. I saw uh, for the coronation, people are making sausage finger sandwiches. <laughs> oh my god! Can you see those little oh, wow. things? Those meaty yeah. little uh, middens. Oh man! You could put that oh, on wow. a piece of that bread. Like it might be a condition. Oh, it's definitely a condition. Okay. I think it's. <laughs> there's no question about that. He's in everything, everything, where all at once. No. <laughs> all right, I'm I'm actually feeling the Italian one. Uh, let's, let's. Yeah, I, I think you're making some progress with that for sure. Um, maybe you want to go into a restaurant and order like pasta or a pizza or something. Mm-hmm. Okay, uh, hold on. Let me, so, Fredo, you're my older. What, how did you say, brother again? With an Bra- ah rather than brother. Fredo, yeah. you're my older brother. I I love. I I love you. I love you. Hey, Fredo, yeah. you're my older brother. I I love you. You sound like Andrew. I good. sound like Borat. No, you sound uh-huh. like my grandma. Is your Literally. grandma Italian? Yes. Oh, Olivia. you're Italian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my God. Uh, Olivia. 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 You. We've had an Italian here the whole time. <laughs> she sounds exact. You know what? That's, That's what actually more like accurate. On the Your That's grandmother sounds like Marlon Brando. <laughs> on the weekends when she has oh, fun. Olivia, kidding? you've sat here with us mm-hmm. all these years and never mentioned <laughs> that your own grandmother comes from the motherland, <laughs> Dali. I know. She's back there right now, actually. Visiting. Wow. Yeah, grandma, nonna. You tell your grandmother that if she if she's thinking about stepping up to the dawn. There's only enough space in this city for the one of us. I'll let her know. Polly. I love you, Grandma. You're Liana. my you're my grandma. I love you. <laughs> yeah, how are you doing that beautiful eye you just did in Grandma? Grandma. I I love are, you. Are you using the back of your tongue or are you using the front of it for the front yeah, or or a front. 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 Yeah. Let's do this. Like there's a little back at the involved, but we want the front for sure. Let's do. You don't even think to call. You don't. You don't even. You don't even think to call me, Godfather. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> you come into my house on the day of my daughter to be married, and you asking me to do it. You asking me to do the murder <laughs> for money. <laughs> When you trail Yeah, money away. is like brother in love. So, yeah, ma. Money. 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 Go, we need the music. Money. <laughs> yeah, hit me with that. Yeah. You don't even think to call me 
Godfather. Godfather. <laughs> Instead, you come into my house on the day of my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> <You> just, <laughs> what happened? <laughs> Instead, you come into my house on the day of my, my brain to be shows married. me him like on a map going somewhere else in the world yeah. when he switches. You're doing more poorly, you know. You're doing more poorly. We're gonna take care of you, Don. Dude, I, I I hate to say it, but I think um I think Jack is totally lost. <laughs> Jack's lost. You're no. Lost. I think I I don't know that I don't know that this tempest is something that could be uh quelled. <laughs> Contained. Yes, I don't right. think so. I mean, it's like trying to teach, uh, trying to teach, trying to teach a gorilla a sign language. language. It's, it's just exactly not happening. Like I feel like we made made a couple of things of progress here and there. We, there we dropped some R's in, in, in the British of yeah. the love, the love mani, the brada. <laughs> so here's ChatGPT's uh, uh, Italian for you. Listen, Great. cool gene. Here, hit me with the music, Jack. The music I just, feel like it throws you off. Yeah, the music yeah. just makes you start doing God. Listen, it's not a spell. Yeah, exactly. We got a little a job for you. And if you do it right, <laughs> maybe someday you'll be a man, Kabish. Just remember, if someone get in your way, don't be afraid to show them who's a boss. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> they actually it wrote bada bing, bada boom. What? Did That's gotta yeah. be racist. Oh my god. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Italiophobia? It is a real thing, and uh, we do need to be sensitive of it. For sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, Akudin, can you can you read that sentence for me? Here, uh, I don't have it. Here, I'll put it into the. I'll put it in. But I thought you did a pretty good job. Oh, really? Really. <laughs> Listen, Akudin. <laughs> We got a little a job for you, and if you do it right, maybe someday it'll make you a man. Cabeche, just remember. People are saying Italian leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> just remember, <laughs> if somebody get in your way, don't be afraid to show them who's a boss. Bada bing, bada boom. Very good. The only word I want to get you to alter is the word job. And job. I want it to be job rather than job. 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 Exactly. Job. Listen, Kujin, we got a little job for you. <laughs> if you ever do it right, maybe someday you'll be a man, Kabish. <laughs> <laughs> Just remember, if somebody gets it out of your way, don't be afraid to show them who's a boss. Bada bing, bada boom. You can definitely be in the Mario sequel with that. <laughs> wow, wow. I'll take that as a win. I'll take that as a win. He's so cool. So, bada bing, bada boom, that's not really an Italian thing, is it? So, ChatGPT wrote that, and I feel I, I offended mean, for the Italian. You know, it, it's choosing uh, off a stereo. What about Russian Italian accent? Phrase. Does that Russian. interest you? Russian. I'm from Russia. Russia. I'm from. Yet. I'm from. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. That is not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, the accent. Well, okay, then. Let's you rate my one accent that I think is fantastic. Okay. I have an accent that I think shines above them all. <laughs> that, of course, I'm talking about... Uh, the Gill Boys, you know what I'm saying? You ever been down south, Jack? You ever been down to Georgia about them, about them times now? Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually lived in Mississippi for a while. Oh, oh. Little good old, oh you're a good old boy from the south. <laughs> I like that. You ever come down on the Delta, take a little steamboat down there, just enjoy the slow time, slow like molasses through a, cold, through a nice warm summer day? Mm-hmm. Have me some sweet tea and a, you know, that's right. Mm -hmm. Have me at one of them, uh, what do you call them? Like the, those fucking balls that the Chris Hansen got canceled for. Oh, an antebellum ball? <laughs> Have me one of them antebellum balls. Right. So no yeah. uh, cookies for you? Uh. <laughs> right. Okay, go ahead. So, so yeah, one out of ten. <laughs> well, I feel like you take us on a tour of the South with, okay. with your accent. Right. Yeah, you know, I, I'm inclusive. I do that intentionally, of course. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right. so there are times when you kind of feel like you're maybe in the Appalachians and then you, you kind of veer over to Texas, round to Georgia, mm -hmm. back. Well, back I'm a good, so I never... represent the South, you know what I'm saying? It's 
kind of per- all over the place. Personally, my favorite is Dark Nathaniel Klansman, where he, he buries bodies. You know, <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> that right. that was probably right. your shining moment. I opinion. tell you what, man. Sometimes I sit out here on the porch and I get to thinking. Dark thoughts, you know. Sometimes out here there's nothing to do but think. Sometimes the storms roll in, keep you bound to your house for a week two on end. The waters, they fall, the rivers, they rise up. Boy. And I tell you what, man, I tell you, some of them rivers rise up, some of them bodies rise up too. Ain't nothing I'm proud of, but I'll tell you what, boy. Got a couple of fuck, got a couple of things under my floorboard when them rivers rise i get a little anxious when it rains because dark secrets come out when the tide goes up you ever i definitely s- think the pitch is uh, your uh, friend uh, uh, you ever you ever <laughs> sit on the porch and see the country light up by the lightning light make you think about all this here is it god who put us all here no someone much darker than that what is god it's a joke God won't put me here on this hill on earth. I tell you what, <laughs> I grew up, but I grew up <laughs> with my good old friend, Jeremiah. <laughs> me and Jeremiah used to be real close, like. We used to run through the fields. We used to, <laughs> we used to shoot at deer in the, in the field, like. One day, Jeremiah come home to me. We were close friends, real close. Jeremiah, one day he come home, he said, I kissed your sister. I wasn't too kind about that, because I'll tell you what, man, I've been kissing my sister. What's your argument? <laughs> That's my sister, and anyone going to be reprocreating with her, Jeremiah, that's going to be me. <laughs> so I took Jeremiah out back, told him we were going to sleep some sweet tea. And I whispered in his ear, Jeremiah, (laughs) cross the line this time, big brother. (laughs) And I did something I regret. I'm not proud to say it, but I put my hands on his neck. Watched as the light left his, his eyes. The last breath exited his mouth. As I looked on his lifeless body, I realized what I had done, but there was no going back at this point. I could see... (laughs) I could tell there was no going back at this point. Saw the clouds rolling in across the field. It was coming in ready for some rain. But I thought if I got to live a good life here for my sister, I got to get rid of this body. She's going to wonder where Jeremiah went. He's a good friend. He's been around for a long time. People be asking questions. I got to make sure that body get good and good gone. So I did me a trench down up in the fields. Real deep, talking. I took the tractor, the John Deere. (laughs) (laughs) I took my papa's, I took my daddy's John Deere, and I start digging. And I start digging. (laughs) And most, by most people's calculation, (laughs) they say about six feet and up, but I kept digging. Maybe it wasn't I was digging to hide the body. Maybe I was digging my own shame, trying to hide it. Don't have to have to face it again. I tell you that John Deere went about deep as, went about as deep as my shame down to the devil himself. And when I put Jeremiah's corpse, I rolled it right in there. The devil lick his ass so deep. <laughs> and he did, I swear to God. As I filled in that ditch with my good friend Jeremiah, I said... Oh, this gone. Never gonna be the same around here. Went home, the rain started to pour, lightning hit the fields like a like a shock from God. Could see the trees shaking out there in the fields. <laughs> 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 I'd like to say that was the last time I took a man's life, but it was only the first. Turned out I had an appetite for sending people out down to a real deep grave. Something in me, there's some kind of darkness, a hole in me, couldn't be filled by nothing else. And I wasn't this kind of man, I wasn't kind of, I wasn't kind of no murderer. 
but it was a hole, a deep hole inside of me couldn't be filled up no other kind of way. Started with Jeremiah. Turned out the next one was Jim Bob. I don't like to talk about Jim Bob hurt not. If he, it hurt too bad. Jim Bob a good man. But I tell you, man, something happened when them light just switch off behind my eyes and I see Jim Bob and I just think, this man belong in the dirt down with the devil himself. <laughs> so I'll tell you I met Jim Bob's jazz. <laughs> I met Jim Bob one day, a uh, hot, humid summer day out there in the fields. We was picking, we was picking uh, all the crops, the corn was getting ready for harvest. It was a, it was a tough harvest season, you know, the, the disease came, ate most of our crops. Hard time for us farmer type. But come around Jim Bob, coming around saying, hey, you boys look thirsty. You boys look like you're going to have some kind of drink to hydrate. I did one. I was thirsty. That ain't no truth about that. But I was thirsty for something else. He didn't want to know the truth, and I didn't want to face it either. I'd already taken one man's life. I was about to take another. I took Jim Bob into my house bar where we had ourselves some of them iced tea. Something just woke in me. He was a good man, a good Christian boy. I gave him that iced tea. I watched the cubes swirl around his glass like the last embers of his life. This great flame that was Jim Bob about to be flickered, about to flicker to the end. <laughs> I invited Jim Bob inside. <laughs> <laughs> I invited Jim Bob back to my house Tell him to sit down Watch the telly And I just stand behind him and watch I knew him. this man's last moment here on this earth He didn't even see it coming I hate to think about Jim Bob What I did to him wasn't right But I'll tell you since you ask <laughs> Sat down right next to him I put a little bit of a sedative in his iced tea, you know, the kind that just make you sleep nice and peaceful. Well, he drank his tea, boy, I tell you what. Passed right there on the couch, went to sleep sweet like an angel. He looked so peaceful when he slept like that the last time he'd ever sleep, I tell you, man. What is the difference between death and sleep, I wonder? As I sat there looking at Jim Bob taking a nice little sleep there. Cause what I tell you, when I took that knife and dug it into his side, I tell you, he didn't wake up. He just kept on sleeping. And I wondered to myself, what is the difference? I just took me a life, and yet this man couldn't even wake up to face, face me in the eyes. I tell you, Jim Bob was a good man around the community. His family couldn't know what was going on. His mama come around talk about, hey, you seen Jim Bob? I say, I ain't seen Jim Bob around here. You know I ain't seen Jim Bob in ages. Got it. We was Got close. Right. That was very good. Thank you so much. And this show will premiere next Thursday. So, yeah, uh, Jack, did, what did you think about my accent? I think you have another career as an A&E documentary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> voice over <laughs> person, for sure. Thank but you. no, on a, on a slightly, like, genuine note i feel like for you that pitch really helps you stay in a certain accent mm. so this version of your southern accent when you when you do it down here then that kind of helps you stay in one place rather than switching between things and the same with your like godfather one because you've got that extra vocal quality happening i tell you what you man kind of stay you say it's down down there and that's what i saw when i said jim bob's body i told him, stay down there not again. Because sometimes the, the, the soul is the body's voice trying to escape and put Jim Bob down in that there hole. I said, stay down low there. Stay down low Let there. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. I appreciate you. Uh, sometimes I get, I get uh, <laughs> in the words of Tupac, it's just dead homies uh, speaking uh, through my mouth. <laughs> 
All right, Jack, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, I appreciate Having it. Me. I know this wasn't an easy assignment for you, but uh, clearly you're very talented. And, I'm, you know, the, the faults of me should not reflect on uh, you as a coach. Surely. No, I think there not. is potential there. And I definitely think with either as well. Mm. The, the, there's, a, there's a hidden talent hiding there. <laughs> yeah. Chat loves you. Yeah, Chad thought you were a sweetheart for tolerating me. So thank you, Jack. Thank you. I feel like your accents might be worse. I think they're worse. <laughs> I think they are. Cooked pasta mystery? This is a strange one. We have a cooked pasta mystery. Yeah, this is a very <laughs> weird story. Hundreds of pounds of cooked pasta mysteriously dumped in New Jersey woods. New Jersey's town what? was discovered a mystery in a creek bed. Lots of pasta. <laughs> Haunting. <laughs> Ooh. So we have all kinds of different pastas. We have long noodle pasta. We have spaghetti. Maga uh, spaghetti. Yeah. Spaghetti. I love ya. I love the spaghetti. Yeah. Mm. I love the spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's creepy. Why would anybody do that? <laughs> Just pounds of cooked pasta. Transported out here, left mysteriously by a, by a creek. I'll tell you, man, I went down there one day with my buddy Jim Bob with all the spaghetti we've been cooking up. Left that down by the creek because I knew, I knew that spaghetti down there, it wasn't the only thing about to have its own last supper. In fact, me and Jim Bob used to sit around there, eat some of that spaghetti noodles by the creek. And I looked over at my good friend Jim Bob And I said, boy, those noodles, last thing ain't gonna slide down that throat of yours. Except for the knife, of course. Got desires too, Jim Bob? Hate to think about it, cause family, real good Christian type, they come around looking for him. I, of course, told him I ain't never seen him. I buried, I just saw him down, at, last time I saw him was down at the pasta piles, I told him. Does everybody in town know about them pasta piles? We don't know how they got there, but they're there. The good old folk from the town, they come, eat the noodles. If you ain't got no dinner, you come down a creek, eat some of them noodles. I saw a button. For myself? <laughs> Excuse me. You can't button me. It, it, it turned your mic off. <laughs> um. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, sometimes me and the boys, we go down there with a, a bottle of marinara. Fix ourselves up some noodles down by the creek. It's a good time, you know, those noodles like that. Nobody knows who make them, so. <laughs> but I tell you, I've been eating them for years. Ain't no so, of course, Jim Bob's family come around. They say, y'all seen Jim Bob? I say, no, last time I seen him was with the noodle down by the creek. Of course, the truth. Got the gym, got the the John Deere out there, and started it. How it is? Real deep. Drop old Jim Bob in. This time, though, to be extra sure, I put a little layer of concrete about a foot, foot deep. Make sure that bottom is nice and tight. I stuff that up. <laughs> so when the storm come on through, ain't got to worry about nobody coming to bluff into the top. Jim Bobby's a good man. He deserved to be bluffing yeah. around like that. My <laughs> dear time I was on that riverboat down in Mississippi. Steamboat, you know the old type, churned the water through the gears and all that. <laughs> good time out there. Nice, nice breeze on a hot day. That old riverboat. But, I hate to say it, but, <laughs> good as it is, good as the memories is, is that riverboat, there's some bad ones too, boy, and I hate to think about it, but it is the truth. <laughs> and if there's anything to say about me, it is that I'll tell you the truth, boy, ain't no way about it. Yeah. Me and Jezusiah, me and Jezusiah. What? Yeah, we used to hit that riverboat, hit down that fly fishing on there catch some of them catfish y'all heard about in the south 
Yeah, they fry up good, boy. Yeah, so me and Jezusai out there throwing, throwing the line, catch, bringing in the the cats, as they say. This one wasn't no, this one was an accident, boy. I didn't mean to hurt no Jezusai. He's a good man. We's drinking a little bit. Jezusai drink, get a little drunk. I said, Jezusai, brother, you gotta slow down, man. He got a drinking problem. You know, he come down, he come home, he drunk, he drive drunk. I tried to talk to Jezusai. I said, brother, you gotta slow down. Problem was. He had a hard life. He wasn't ready to slow down none. Kept drinking. <laughs> I burned my leg. Are you okay? Oh my god. I got a friend A B one day. He's holding <laughs> bite. Burned his leg, so the smell of the singed flesh got me thinking about dark <laughs> thoughts I ain't had in a long time. You ever tasted human flesh? Mmm. <laughs> I tell you, man, most people won't expect, but that ain't that is not. That is a fry up real nice. You ever cut a steak out of a thigh? Clean it up? I'll tell you what, man. The thigh tastes good, but ain't nothing like a rump. 